In this video, we're going to show you how to install gas tank straps on your Ford Explorer located on the underside of your fuel tank. Using a 19 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the lug nuts. Once you have the lug nuts removed, grab the wheel, remove it, and set it aside. Now we're going to use a gas tank jack to just go ahead and support the tank in place here. Now if you're doing this in your driveway, you can go ahead and use your floor jack with maybe a 2x4 or something like that. And all you want to do is just make contact with this to keep it in place while we remove one of the straps. Now this job can be done by just by replacing one strap. You can do the pair, you can do them together, but you want to go ahead and make sure that you're supporting that tank no matter what you do. Now the driver's side fuel tank strap, the rear bolt is right here and it's accessible through the wheel well area. So after you remove the wheel, we're going to use our ratchet. It's a 13 millimeter and we're just going to go ahead and loosen and remove this one here. Now we have switched over to a gear wrench on this here because of the clearance between the frame and the bolt itself. The ratchet just wouldn't fit anymore. So you can get your gear wrench up and in there. You gotta pop that bolt out. Now if we follow the strap up to the front, we have another 13 millimeter bolt here. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove that. Now along the strap here, you're going to find two little plastic buttons here. There's one here, one on the back side, holding the strap in place. You go ahead and use a trim tool or a little pry bar here. You just want to go ahead and work this off. You can do the same for the back side. Feed our strap up and in. Line this up with the little retainer button and pop that on. Now we're gonna do the same on the front. Get line that up, push that on. Gonna install our forward bolt here. Let's go ahead and install the rear bolt. And once you've gotten that bolt far enough up where you have some clearance, you can then use an extension with a swivel socket to go ahead and access that bolt from down underneath. We'll tighten up our front bolt. Now at this point here, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for the passenger side. Once you have your straps completed, go ahead and lower your jack. Go ahead and install that wheel. We'll go ahead and start all of our lug nuts by hand. Once we get all of these started by hand, we'll then follow up by snugging them down. Torque the wheel to 100 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.